Hello, dear friends. Welcome to my YouTube channel. We are currently at the Ryu Atoll Hotel. You can reach the hotel by two methods. The first one is by seaplane. That's how I arrived at the hotel, and we were greeted by such a beautiful jetty. Alternatively, you can fly with local airlines from Malé and then take a boat to the hotel. If you choose to travel by seaplane, the flight will take about 40 minutes from Malé Airport. If you opt for local airlines, you will land on this island. A boat will then take you to the hotel in approximately 20 minutes. Upon arrival at the hotel, you will be greeted by such a beautiful reception area where you will be quickly checked in. The island is divided into two hotels, Ryu Palace and Ryu Atoll. The road between Ryu Palace and Ryu Atoll is connected by such a small bridge. To reach our hotel, we will walk along this road. Ryu Atoll belongs to the well-known Ryu chain. The neighboring hotel, Ryu Palace, holds a five-star hotel status. Guests of Ryu Palace can enjoy the services of both hotels, which is not the case for Ryu Atoll. However, despite being a four-star hotel, Ryu Atoll doesn't fall short in any aspect compared to Ryu Palace. There is more evening entertainment here. The hotel is new, opened in the summer of 2019. Let's talk about the rooms in this hotel. The building consists of 12 rooms. We are staying in Villa 12103. The rooms on that side face the other side of the island, where the waves are stronger. It's not a problem, but on our side of the island, they are not as strong. For rooms on the first floor, you can access the beach directly from your terrace. As for rooms on the second floor, instead of a terrace, there is a balcony. Currently, our room is being cleaned. The housekeeping in the rooms is excellent and fast, especially in our building. Since the cleaning is currently taking place, let's not go into the room and instead take a walk along the path to the beach. Here we are, finally on our beach. Look at this beauty. All those black spots are coral reefs. Look at this white sand, it's in line with Maldivian traditions. Later, we'll show you the end of the island where beautiful photos are taken. There are umbrellas and lounge chairs on the beach. We occupy the lounge chairs in the mornings because there are not enough for all the guests staying in the building. Welcome to our room, and now we'll give you a brief overview of it. First of all, let's go into the bathroom. I want to point out that there is high quality plumbing here with two sinks. Take cotton swabs and sponges with you because they are not provided. Soap and shower gel shampoo are provided here. There is a shower cabin here. Notice that there is a threshold, which is a plus because it prevents water from leaking out. Here is a mirror, a pack of tissues, and a toilet. Beach towels, body towels, and hand and face towels are provided here. In the room, there is a safe where you can keep valuable items. There are shelves for shoes, and a large number of hangers in the wardrobe for your clothes. Also an ironing board and an iron. Pay attention to the top shelf. Now I will tell you important information. Bring your own bathrobes and slippers. Upon arrival at the hotel, I found out that these items are not provided in the room. I like the room, but there is one aspect you should consider when choosing a room. There is high humidity here. You always need to turn on the air conditioner and only open the terrace door for a short time. Otherwise, the entire room becomes covered with such moisture. Not only the mirrors, but also the appliances in the room become covered with moisture. Look at this bed. As I mentioned earlier, the room cleaning is wonderful. Today they made a butterfly for us and wished us a good day. They arranged this message with palm leaves. It's so cute. The bed is very large and comfortable. We also have an extra bed here. There are two bedside tables and two warm blankets as well. Here you can see the phone and additional cabinets for your belongings. By the way, the extra bed is also spacious and comfortable. There is a wonderful ocean view from the window here. The TV does not support internet. 
Channels in different languages are available. I know there are English channels, an Italian channel, a channel with Indian series, and so on. There is also a complimentary mini bar here, which is replenished daily. Three bottles of water, each 1.5 liters, are brought to the room. There are also shelves for your clothes here again. I forgot to show you the air conditioner. It is turned on from a button on the wall. And here we have reached our beautiful terrace, which leads directly to the beach. I really like this room. As far as I know, the humidity in rooms on the second floor is not as high, but it's better to confirm this information with the hotel. Our room has a nice entrance to the beach. The depth allows swimming at any time of the day, regardless of tides. And now we will go to lunch together. Upon entering, you are greeted by waiters who escort you to your table. You can immediately order drinks. Look at this beautiful ocean view. Let's go inside. This is what the buffet looks like. Although the restaurant may look small, there is a good variety of dishes here. There is soup. It varies every day and comes with toppings such as chips, cheese, and pasta. Next, there are french fries, stewed vegetables, and a friendly chef. Various types of meat are served here. In the video, you can see beef and stewed onions. There is also a fast food area where you can make burgers and sausages yourself. Various dishes of Asian cuisine are served where you can find fried rice, fried noodles, dumplings, and other tasty dishes. And here is my favorite corner with the most delicious noodles. Here you can try noodle soup. You can choose the filling, seasonings, and spiciness to your taste. I highly recommend trying it. Here you can see fried potatoes, stewed vegetables, and a section with different types of pasta. There was also pizza here, but I arrived close to closing time, so it had already run out. This is Indian curry with rice. Here they serve various types of fish, grilled and in batter, with very tasty sauces to choose from. Table with vegetables, where you can assemble your own salad. Here we have desserts, a wide variety. I always go for jelly. Plates with fruits. Here you will always find watermelon, while the other fruits change regularly. I also have delicious ice cream every day. You can add toppings and syrup to it. Flavors include chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry. Next, a table with ready-made salads, and here are bruschettas, a cheese plate and a selection of sausages. I like the cuisine in this restaurant. The service is fast and the staff is friendly. We received a compliment from the chef. Wow. Let's try the dragon fruit. You can also have dinner at the Italian restaurant, Sofia, and at the meat restaurant. It's free, but you need to book your visit in advance through the Ryu app or at the reception. Next to the restaurant, there is a shop where you can buy clothes, souvenirs, jewelry, creams, and other essential items. Welcome to the sports bar. It stays open late and there are always enough visitors here. A big plus in this hotel is these info boards where you can find the schedule of events for the whole day and not just for today, but for the entire day. It supports English, German, Chinese, and Spanish languages. In the sports bar, you can eat at any time. They have snacks available. You can sit outside or go inside. Let's go inside. Look at this interior. It's so maritime, yet at the same time, sporty. They always show matches on the television here, mostly football, but also, also other sports like boxing, as it is now. You can play billiards here and enjoy your drinks. The alcoholic menu in all bars is diverse. There is vodka, various brands of whiskey, wine and sparkling wine, liqueurs, as well as classic cocktails, such as margarita, mojito, Aperol, and so on. There is a library and many board games here, so everyone will find entertainment to their liking. Let's move on.
We are heading to the diving center. There are a lot of activities here. From diving to catamarans, there are plenty of options. Stand up paddle boarding, kayaking, and catamarans are free with the all-inclusive system. That means you can fill out a form with your details and go out for a ride. Diving is also available for an additional fee. For a certain fee, you can rent boards like these. Additionally, you can rent a snorkeling mask for a $50 deposit and go snorkeling in this area. There are always many people here, all coming for consultation, and the staff will explain everything in detail and answer your questions. By the way, I always check the tide times because activities depend on them. For example, from 11.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. like today. Diving prices start from $100 depending on your level and the number of dives. Here we are greeted by the sight of the fish living here. To be honest, the sight is quite scary, but we've already seen many of them. Snorkeling was very interesting. We are currently near the main restaurant, the Sophia restaurant and the shop. Here begins the long road to our room. Our villa is the second to last and the path to it takes about 10 minutes and around 1,000 steps. We've counted. You can walk along the pathway or you can walk along the beach. But during the daytime, walking along the beach is very hot, so I prefer the pathway. It's very convenient that the entire pathway is paved with stones, so you don't have to walk on the sand. Here is the doctor's office, which luckily we didn't have to visit. The entire pathway is decorated with palm trees like this. The hotel grounds are very well maintained. You can see that the staff works hard on this. While we're walking to our room, let's take a look at the pool. I can't ignore this beauty. It's very beautiful here, with this palm tree arch welcoming us. And look, there are many lounge chairs here. It feels like the hotel is at maximum capacity right now. Here you can grab a towel and find your spot. The hotel's highlight is that there's a bar right in the pool. It's very cool and convenient. So you can swim, then swim up to the bar, order a drink, leave your glass, and go back to swimming. There are also these lounge chairs right in the water. They look picturesque. You can take beautiful photos and videos here. Various activities take place here, such as aqua aerobics, pool parties, discos, and other entertainments. You can also lie on the loungers by the ocean. Most people hang out here by the pool or at the bar. Let's move on, I'll show you the bar. I must mention the work of the bartenders. Despite the large number of people, they're doing a great job. There's some kind of game set up here. We never figured out how to play it, so if you know the rules, please write in the comments. This bar is closed at night. It only operates during the day. There's a fantastic view of the sunset here. During the day, they have bingo and a DJ playing at sunset. I really love this place. Also, on our way to our room, we can take a look at the overwater villas. Let's go and see. Here's a map showing the ocean depth. It describes where it's safe to swim and where caution should be exercised. We are currently here at the overwater villas. Accordingly, the water depth is about one to two meters. As far as I know, overwater villas are more expensive than beach villas. The overwater villas we see are not just for one room, but for three rooms. That is, three rooms are located in one building. At night, there is very beautiful lighting here. It's very hot here. 
and the lounge chairs of these villas are exposed to direct sunlight. Look at this magnificent view. You can see the entire beach line from here. I cannot fail to mention the kids club in this hotel. Here are some swings, another set of swings, a slide, a trampoline, a mini house, and a mini pool. There's also footwear by the door, indicating that there are several children inside and an animator. Schedule from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m., from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. We are on the opposite side of the island, meaning opposite from our room. I'm thrilled by this pristine white sand, and the azure waves here are especially blue. There's a pleasant sea breeze. We came here specifically to show you the beach at the end of the island. Let's take a walk together. This is only my third time here. The beach here is more wild than on our side. The sun is scorching right now, but there's a pleasant shaded area here. Wow, let's keep going. Here we are at the end of our island. Here is a mini beach area with hammocks and loungers. Many hotel guests love to relax here because of the pleasant sea breeze, beautiful beach, and there's also a great reef here. Look, there's a photo zone here, Ryu Maldives. Overall, the island is not large. From this spot, we can see the entire beach. Also from here, you can see the island where planes land. I want to note that it is very deep here. There are no corals here, but they are on the other side where the banner is located. This is exactly where we are standing, where rays and sharks swim to. I confirmed this information at the diving center and then saw a ray myself. This place is great for photo shoots. Many people come here to watch the sunset and take beautiful photos. So I highly recommend that you walk to the end of the island. And on one side it's calm, with no waves at all. While on the other side, there are waves. It's an impressive sight. So we are at the spa. Look at this beautiful interior. We are greeted by a friendly reception where the staff will answer all your questions. Here, there is a wide range of services available. Look at how many types of massages and other treatments are offered. There's even manicures, haircuts, and many other procedures available.
You can also check the prices in the Ryu app. Additionally, there is a gym here. Early in the morning, it's full of people. It's 10.30 a.m. now, and people have already finished their workouts. Let's talk about the entertainment at the hotel. The entertainment schedule is planned for the entire day, and the animation team works hard to ensure you have fun at this hotel. You can engage in yoga on the board, aerial yoga, sing karaoke, enjoy live musical performances, and even live music from movies. Themed parties are held, such as safari parties and white parties. There were movie nights with popcorn, themed quizzes, bingo, and sports workouts during the day. You can find out about the event schedule in the Ryu app. Hello everyone, today is the last day of our vacation. We're flying out tomorrow morning. And look, after the cleaning, they brought us bathrobes to our room. A very nice gesture from the hotel. I'm not sure what it's related to. Maybe it's because two days ago we filled out surveys giving Fyak about the hotel, where we mentioned that it would be nice if the hotel provided bathrobes and slippers in the room. The fact that they appeared really pleased us. Finishing this review, let's talk and summarize the pros and cons of this hotel. Let's start with the pros. First, the hotel is new, opened only in 2019. There is still a new interior here. Second, well-groomed territory. It's evident that the staff is working hard to keep the hotel clean. The third advantage is the entertainment program. Nobody will be bored in this hotel because everyone will find entertainment to their liking. Next. Fourthly, there is a good beach here, a very soft entry into the ocean, and the depth allows swimming at any time. The fifth advantage is the cuisine. For the first time, I didn't miss home-cooked food because they cook very deliciously here. There is a quick response to all requests here. For example, we needed umbrellas during the rain, and the reception immediately sent them. All requests were fulfilled instantly. This is a big plus. Now let's move on to the negatives. The only downside was the humidity in the rooms, but we got used to the air conditioning, so it didn't spoil our vacation. The second downside is the lack of bathrobes and slippers in the rooms, although this was corrected after our feedback. The third downside is the possible lack of internet on the TV, which may be inconvenient for some guests. But overall, we had a wonderful vacation and the positives outweigh the negatives. I really like this hotel. I would come back here again, but I won't because I need to show you many other hotels. If you have any questions about this hotel, feel free to ask me here in the comments or hit me up on Instagram. I'll leave the link in the description. I'll answer all your questions. Like, leave comments. Let me know if you would go to this hotel. If you've been here already, leave your review. I hope my review will be helpful to you. Thanks for watching the video till the end. Thank you all. Bye.